Hi guys, are you a freelance digital marketer? Do you have an agency? And are you thinking about ways in which you can create a digital marketing strategy for your clients? I think this is a video I was really wondering should i give it out for free should i put it into my consultations should i share it uh, or should i sell it but anyway at the end of the day i'm a generous person and i believe in generosity on social media so i have decided to give this out for free so welcome and in today's video we're gonna go through the steps in which you can create a digital marketing strategy for your brands maybe you've done my course and you're already on your journey into becoming a freelance digital marketer plug here if you want that or you're in your beginning stages of thinking okay is this even for me or can i create an agency can i start onboarding new clients so congratulations if you have a new client or if you have new clients yeah so we're going to be talking about how to create a digital marketing strategy a digital marketing strategy is just a good blueprint that can guide the brand in all their marketing efforts particularly on online or on online media which is why we say digital marketing if you've had your first digital marketing client sit down with them and ask them what are their goals you'll be surprised that the client already knows what their goals are or you can even narrow down with them sit down decide okay i think you should be focusing on this for example there are clients who come with the goal of sales 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 and they are new but later as a digital strategist probably you might see that sales might not be possible within the first month what they need to do is maybe get people to know more about their brand or to know the brand even to begin with maybe no one even knows the brand exists so you decide on a goal of brand awareness so as a brand you have to make sure or as a social media marketing manager or as a digital marketer whether you're in an agency freelance or as a consultant you need to sit down with that brand manager or with that person and ask them what exactly are your goals what are you looking for this is not more like for them to give you all the tips but it's more for you to know how your marketing efforts are going to look like say if someone might come and tell you i'm actually looking to sell out my my shop or sell products to so move products another one will be i'm looking to move volumes another one will be i'm looking to sell luxury products i'm not looking for everyone to buy my products but i'm looking for two or three luxury you know buyers so brands really have different goals one of them can be brand awareness another one can be sales another one can be membership another one can be um downloads like there's so many other ways that brands can tell you in terms of their goals another one is people to discover you for example through search you want clients you want sales a brand manager or a brand owner can be able to give you a clue in what they're really looking for whether it's sales whether it's brand awareness whether it's downloads or people just knowing more about their brands or membership or signing up for like their membership club like different brands exist to serve different things so write down the goals and at least with such a goal you can be able to quantify it now having a goal is one thing but having a specific goal is another thing so you need to also discuss and make your goal smart i'm sure you've seen this so many times it needs to be specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound so make sure you have all those for example someone might be to sell 600 bottles of wine in the month of may through online platforms alone that's a very timely goal you know it's in the month of may 600 bottles all that so it's very a, such a smart goal make sure all the goals that you're setting are smart the next thing you need to do is set kpis and metrics to measure the, those goals so on social media for example there's so many kpis that you have one kpi can be likes another one can be downloads another one can be shares another one can be clicks another one can be um views like there's so many metrics that you need to measure and you need to measure them every month like every month how many likes did this brand get how many downloads did this product get how many signups or calls did this person get how many sales did they have so put in place different key measures and key metrics for those specific goals especially like on digital marketing key metrics will be something like on the social media or on their online ads how are they looking for the ads to perform how many impressions does the ad have as a digital marketer you should be well versed with all these descriptions you know um all these kind of metrics there's so many that you can have and make sure at least you explain to the brand that this is what we're looking for this is where we are at 
be very realistic in setting these metrics because sometimes you can be overly ambitious and you end up messing yourself up as a digital marketer i love to be realistic here i love not to over promise and under deliver i'd rather under promise and over deliver in this specific part like we are gonna get you 600 downloads if you're very sure there's no way under god's green earth you're going to get 600 downloads in the month of may then leave them alone or if you know there's no way you're going to get 6,000 likes in the month of july don't promise that to the client so make sure you're very realistic um for example for example let me give you a story there's somebody who's trying to sell an ebook and i was there to kind of push the ebook but nobody knew this person no one even knew of what they were trying to sell so i opted to tell them in month one there's no way i'll promise to sell 15 ebooks for you I'm not gonna do that to you however what i'll promise you is that 500 people will get to know about your product they might not buy but they will definitely get to know who you are you know those things or i'll give you a reach of this number so make sure you're very honest and realistic from the beginning and don't over promise most times when we're trying to you know get started we try to wow the client with fake promises but what happens if you can't deliver you know that client will never work with you again i'd rather work with a brand for longer like i always tell people i work with like i don't want to just pick your brand for two months and then that's it it's a wrap i want to pick your brand for a, a year i want to learn about the brand i want to market it well so that's also another thing you really need to do is the metrics and kpis put them somewhere let it be common knowledge to you to the brand to, account, to the account managers and to everybody in the farm that this is what we are trying to do and all your marketing efforts will be towards that thing the next thing that most brands forget to do is check your target audience like you really really have to know who is your target audience and who are you even targeting with this kind of product or service that you have you know you have to really know don't target everyone you know and sometimes brands want to target everyone you know we want to sell to everyone you know the more the merrier but when it comes to brands you have to sit down with a brand and you know tell them that this basing on everything you've told me i think you're targeting millennials who are ha who live in the city who are like this and like this that way you can be able to kind of narrow down the message that you have with that brand so make sure you have a target audience with that go as far as having a slide or a page talking about that target audience are they female are they male what age group group are they what language are they speaking how are they speaking what are their consumption habits what are their happiness what are their fears like you really have to know your target audience they have to be like your friend you really have to get them once you get them you can be able to now create resources and create content based on them and you can be able to actually sell to them in a language that they understand in a platform where they are and meet them at the level that they are knowing your target audience and you helping a brand know the target audience that's a very important step in the strategy process the next one is after you've done all that now the fourth part is creating your online persona and also knowing which platforms the brand is gonna be there when i say you i mean like the brand whoever you're working for so creating your platforms and creating your online persona and knowing which platforms you're gonna be in very important because for example different brands have different voices if let's say you're selling shoes uh, you have a different voice with depending on the target market what we did in step three so from there you can be able to know your online persona when you show up and which platforms you are in you know for example is my is even my target audience are they on linkedin really are they actually on tiktok or they are somewhere on instagram or on facebook so once you know that you'll be able to now know the platforms where you'll be posting uh and how much you'll be posting create a nice frequency test different things of course but from the beginning cut out those social media platforms where you know no one is there none of your audience is there or your brand is not gonna do well there the other thing is getting to the content creation part which is my favorite part in every like strategy part you have to show the brand what type of content they have what type of content they have to create now that we've talked that they have to be on social media not just the posts themselves but even on for example a corporate blog if the brand wants to have a corporate blog or a personal blog if the brand is a personal brand um or on social media on youtube what type of content are they creating are they creating video content are they creating audio content are they creating visual content so you have to be 
the person as the expert you have to recommend something for the brand if they don't have that existing so you have to already set that up and a social media strategy can be um, including so many other things that the brand has requested but these ones that I'm talking about are the most important and you have to really map it out well for the brand to see yeah then after you're done that you have to look for other strategies that the brand can leverage or that the brand can use when they are growing so there's so many other strategies that you might recommend for the brand to do for example you can tell them hey guys I think you need to actually have a YouTube channel to showcase some of the products that you're making you know the behind the scenes the product I think that's one of the strategies you need or you can tell a brand i think guys you're really wasting a lot of leads how about we create an email collection kind of uh, strategy how about we create um email marketing as part of your strategy so you as the expert after having looked at the brand you'll be able to know okay what does this brand needs uh what does this brand need you know as an expert you know these things already and you already have delved deeper into the brand to understand what the brand is about so you will already have understood so you'll be able to recommend a few things or say uh, you need a tiktok strategy or you need linkedin more so be able to kind of share those things with the brand yeah then after that you can now submit the strategy to the brand a strategy can be in form of a document there's something called a strategy document which you'd now share with the brand during like a meeting and tell them this is what i think you guys need um this is how i want you to do it as a digital strategy you can be part of implementing that strategy so this works in different ways for example I have been in the part where I've just created the strategy I have trained the account managers or I have shown them what they're supposed to do and the account managers take on from there and I just come in like once a month uh, to just check how are we performing um, how can we do here so that's one way the other way is a digital strategy a digital strategies can be incorporated into the company process they can be part of the company or even part of the employee base of the company whereby the strategist will oversee all activities to make sure that their strategy is being followed to the letter so they are communicating with different account managers under them or even themselves implementing that digital strategy so there's so many ways in which this can be and once you have submitted that's not the end of the the road there's something called measuring you have to check was my strategy implemented well or did i implement the strategy well are we facing any shortfalls are there points that we can improve um are there a things that we need to test for example like in a b testing do we need to test a new format of post at the end of the day there's no way a digital strategy can just take two months and you've already proven everything you need no this is a continuous process the strategy has to be implemented you have to check you have to measure you have to check your kpis every month if not every week to see how are we performing you know what can we do better are we still sticking to the plan do we need to incorporate something else so there are so many things you need to check during a strategy and that is how you create a digital marketing strategy for a company. One thing I also did assume in this video is that you have already obviously researched on the company. So as a digital strategist, when you meet a new company that you're doing strategy for, immerse yourself get into the thick of things and really really learn what is this business about understand what how the business works so that when you're creating a strategy you already know what the company does you already know what the sales department does you even know things like how much turnover did the company make last year so that was my assumption that you as a strategist have already immersed yourself in the brand and you already understand the brand strategies definitely vary from brand to brand there are even some things maybe i didn't mention some nitty gritties that would come in in part I think would come in part five which is where you are incorporating more strategies and giving the brand ideas or more to do but in a nutshell that ex that is exactly how you do a strategy also in step one there's so many other things you can do you can do SWOT analysis you can do there's so many other types of analysis that you can do to monitor the health of the brand so in case you feel like oh Jean like you didn't talk oh Jean you didn't talk about a SWOT analysis at some point does that mean your strategy doesn't make sense no it's just that i didn't mention it in part one and each strategy often varies from brand to brand how much how big is the brand 
what kind of strategy do they want they want a deep deep dive strategy do they want an overall strategy um so all those are things and factors to consider but if you want me actually to be doing kind of this deep dive um videos on, on the business of social media marketing i really love this and i love digital marketing and i love going into the business aspects of it you know into the strategy aspects of it analytics part of it because it's something i love to do i've experienced i've done and i could share so so much more before you forget one thing i forgot to mention is i have a consultation on digital marketing it's called the freelance digital marketing course um it's a consultation for three hours we will do a 30 minutes discovery call where we see is this course right for you and then we will have a one-on-one -on -one session thrice a week for the first week or we can spread it out but it's in three hours online and then i will do a 30 minutes call checkup afterwards it's nine modules really really interesting in fact let me just flash details of this course um if you want to sign up if you want to make money as a freelance digital marketer you want to get started in the field anyway thank you guys remember to like subscribe share this video with anyone you feel like should uh, benefit from this